Hey, what up, peeps, and welcome back to another episode of Cable Plays, Cable Plays Minecraft. So, I've been given some consideration to how we've been uh, doing things, and uh, here's the situation. Now, I, I don't want to stop recording videos because I like recording videos. Um, I like hanging out with you guys and you know I really want to do something with this you know I, I want to make it like a, a real actual thing you know but at the same time my current level requires or not level uh, what is my current situation requires that I not only have a full-time job like a regular full-time job but I also work part-time um, as of pizza delivery, uh, I, I don't even know, uh, uh, just a delivery guy. I was say pizza delivery boy, but I am, it's been years since I've been called a boy. And I'm perfectly okay with that, you know, th th doing that and still being, uh, still doing this and, and all that other good stuff. The the thing about this is that it limits or severely limits the actual amount of time that I have to record uh, versus the amount of time that I have to edit. Now, editing is the big one. Like, editing is the huge, huge, huge thing. So right now, Minecraft, if I, if I let it, Minecraft is the one that causes, like, the most editing. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because, like, last episode was not as great of an episode as I wanted it to be. And after I got done with it, you know, I came over here off camera and I built this... Uh, whoa! Oh, whew. I built this little uh, farm... Uh, and in, right now it's just wheat, and you notice that I've got every other row done. And then there's a there's a reason for for that. One of the reasons for this is because, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, it's it gives me a um, the opportunity to grow the wheat like super fast. Um, because we're not growing it side by side by side. Uh, and when I have other things to plant, like potatoes or carrots or something, then I'll plant them in the other rows. And everything will grow, like, really fast. And it'll be cool. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But I did, like, the majority of this stuff off camera. And I kind of felt like I was cheating uh, viewership a little bit for having done it off camera. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. But it kind of felt like that way to me. You know, I also added my little pumpkin farm so we can start getting some jack-o'-lanterns built for some lighting situations on the outside here. Um, I think I did a little more mining. Um, I, I've built an additional area. Yikes. This thing is slow, but it is working like a charm. <clears throat> Excuse me. I built an additional area to house some uh, some sheep, which I'm a little concerned because I think I ought to have. Oh, one died. How did it die? That makes no sense at all. not like any wolves over here. Okay, well, uh, whatever. Anyway, the point being is that it, uh, the greats, oh yeah, and I, you know, I, I did the carpet thing, like I said, and, and I even had a little speech prepared for, uh, oh yeah, duh, I forgot this is a Greek mythology, so it doesn't just look like green carpet, <laughs> green grass, it's, it's going to look like weird, trimmy carpet. But I'm sorry, back to what I was saying. I did a lot of this stuff off camera, and I just kind of felt like it was cheaty. I mean, I, it's not necessarily that 
the resource gathering and the harvesting of stuff is is like super gripping because it ain't i mean anybody that's ever watched a really horrible, probably like mine, uh, Minecraft video <laughs> knows that there's a certain way of doing things and a certain way of not doing things. And usually that way is announcing, hey, I'm going to do this task today. And then when I'm done, uh, or now that I've announced that, I'm going to uh, cut. And then I'm going to gather stuff that I need to do this task and then when I'm done doing that, we'll be back. And I'll show you how we're going to start preparing to build this thing. And then when I'm done doing that, we'll be back. And then I'm going to start building on it. And then about halfway through, I'm going to show you what it is that I'm doing. And then we'll be back. And then when we finally come back, we're going to be at a halfway point of the build. Or we're going to be at a... Um, a completion stage of the build and <clears throat> excuse me at this point I'll say hey thanks for watching appreciate you being here yada 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 and then they move forward and that's pretty much a a staple for how uh, most of the good Minecraft videos are done and I, I I would like to say that I follow that right now. I'm not doing anything except for just kind of walking around and talking. So you know what? I might as well be doing something. So I will go back down to the mines. I really hope I have everything I need. <laughs> I was just thinking. Let's... Oh, we already got two sticks. Okay, cool. See, and this is the part where I get distracted. Because I'm... Like, I want to talk to you guys. But I got to focus at the same time because of my ADHD. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pick these up. I told you guys before, I'm not going to do a whole lot of uh, mining of that. But yeah, honestly, I kind of have to. I uh, want to put the cobblestone down here. Because we're going to wind up running through a lot of cobblestone. Okay, so one, two, three... Four, five, and then one, two, three. Okay, I might have lost my train of thought again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. And then 11. Which means if I go here and here and plop me down a torch. Also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Pop me down a torch right there. Now, if I come over to the har and then start digging a back har. Boom. Perfect. All lined up. That's what I like to see. So, anyhow, um, Minecraft being actually one of the worst when it comes to um, editing, I've decided that I'm not going to do a lot of editing in Minecraft. And what this means for you guys as a viewer is that uh, there are going to be some times when there's going to be more talky, miney episodes. Kind of like what we're doing right now. And I, I do have to apologize. But the thing of it is, uh, is that it also means that 
I'm not going to be stuck having to uh, edit a lot of Minecraft jump cuts. Now, the only other game right now that I'm doing a lot of editing in is uh, Star Trek Online. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I've kind of committed, I think myself really more than anything else, that I there's a certain way that I definitely want those videos to be that... Um, I don't want you guys to have to contend with. Wow, look at that. The definite hazards of mining at level 10. I just want to take a quick uh, perusal. And make sure that we don't have any diamond up and around her. See, stuff like this happens. I lose my train of thought. And then all of a sudden I don't talk anymore. We're like the best YouTubers that I've <coughs> watched. And maybe they get it from just having done it for so long that I'm not at that level yet. <laughs> so, like, it's like, oh my god, squirrel, gotta stop talking for a second. Oh, this does open up into a much larger cavern. What? Oh, that's my other little poco. Looks like if we do another uh, extension shaft over, this is going to be something we are definitely going to have to contend with. Yipes! Did all of it fall? <clears throat> oh my god. Sorry, I just feel like I got something stuck there. Alright, almost all of it fell. I don't not have another shovel on me doing nope. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm gonna have to give me something to drink here. Hold give me just a moment. I am so sorry. Is there is there anything over here of worth is what I'm needing to know. Honestly, it doesn't look like it. Except for the iron, and I'm good without risking my life to get that particular iron. Alright, I apologize. So back to what I was saying. We're, we're going to leave that open, I think, so that we, we just know that's not a good place to go digging. So, uh, right, see, and I lose my train of thought really easily. <laughs> it's, I've listened to some of my jump cuts where I'm like, yeah, so we're talking about X, Y, and then all of a sudden it's like Z, A, B, C, all of a sudden. <laughs> like, oh my God, dude, can you hold a coherent thought? And I'm really bad at that. Um, and I know that I'm really bad at it, but I didn't realize that I was like that bad at it. And I am. I know I am. Two, three. And I think this is where we put down our first torch. Yes, it is. So. what? I, oh, so the Star Trek stuff. So, the, yes, what I'm trying to do with the Star Trek stuff is I'm trying to um, give you guys a, a little more actual content without seeing like a ton of loading screens uh, that's what I'm doing with the Star Trek thing right now friggin 
whatever the heck those things are. Mites. And it's... It's not easy. Uh, to do, actually. Uh, but it's a lot easier to to do the 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 cutaways the cutaways for that than it is to do the cutaways for uh, like Minecraft because the cutaways for crap Just for the sake of being thorough, I guess. The cutaways for doing the stuff in Star Trek are a little more predictable on, on where to go uh, in the timeline of the video so that I can do the actual cut itself. Uh, whereas in Minecraft, uh, that can actually be like way more hectic, you know. Uh, sometimes, in, and like we have to give, each, give ourselves as, as uh, editors uh, like clues for when we're going away and a lot of people think that you know what that lava's not hurting nothing we're gonna leave that lava right there a lot of people think that like whenever your favorite youtubers like all right so we're gonna go ahead and be right back that he's doing it because he's letting you know actually there is there is zero reason for a youtuber to actually tell you that he's going to be right back. And, and I'm not saying that, you know, because I'm trying to be mean or anything. One, two, three. Why did I skip forward? Uh, I'm saying it because what they're doing is they're using that as a, as a placeholder for them uh, to be able to know where they need to go to in the video. And some of them probably write it down so that it's a little more scientific, if you will, um, so that they know where to go in the video so that they can edit that part out. One, two, and then this should be the third one here. And that's all that that's used for. I mean, they, there's no reason for them to have to tell you, hey, I'll be right back. And we'll be right back. I mean, not really. Not really, like, ever. Ever. It's just so that they know where they've got to go. That's all it is. Did I miss 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? I did miss. How did I miss that? Was it? I must have been because I was dealing with all the lava. Actually, something's not right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because it wouldn't be here. That's why. So anyway, uh, what I'm going to try and do, um, and, and I apologize, this video here is not going to receive any editing. I've got a Minecraft video before this one uh, that I did need to do some editing to, and I'm going to do that when I'm done recording this one. Uh, one, two, three. Um, I I did it again, I did it again, I did it again, I did it again. Dang it! Do I have my water bucket? I have my bucket. I have no water. Come on. No. 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 And if I'm not recording, you miss wonderful things like that. Ugh. Same thing happened to me uh, another time, and I uh, the same thing happened. Uh, I was smart enough to at least uh, back away. Man, why? Why?
I was smart enough to back away from the lava so my stuff didn't get burnt up. I don't see anything else here that belongs to me. All right, cool. One, two, and then this will be our third block. The only hazards of digging at this level to find diamonds, you are definitely maximizing your exposure, block exposure, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but you are also, and most definitely, exposing yourself to... Different dangers, if you will. Dang it. You've got to be kidding me. And then there are times when all this goes down and you're just like, whatever, I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to play your game! <sighs> I gotta reorganize all my crap again. Put you down, put you down. You go down. And you go down. This is such a massive lake. And apparently a cavern or two. I see that one over there. So, I guess, like I said, this episode is going to be the talkie and you get to see me do a lot of the boring bits and pieces and or bits and bobs is my old... Uh, uh, my old supervisor from England would say, all the bits and bobs. You know, I was just thinking about coming over here and realizing I don't have... Thank God for lava. Never thought I'd hear myself say that. I was like, I don't have a sword. There is a lot of coal down here, though. And I am going to take advantage of that. So, other than that, if we want to talk about the job stuffs, um, the the job with uh, Papa John's, which is who I I deliver pizza for, is going great. Um, I like the people that I work with, and I like getting out and driving. I've been stuck around the house for so long, not really doing much of anything at all, that it's really nice uh, to get out and do stuff. So I'm definitely liking that. I did have one offer from a temporary, uh, well, a temporary firm, staffing firm, I guess that's a better way of saying it. And the staffing firm 
they're actually they're really great too. I am not you know picking on them at all. Uh, but the last job that they offered me, there was some miscommunications. Uh, and you know what? Since we have a few moments, we can talk about those too. So here's what happens. Um, back in my day, and I don't know if... Well, I've never really said it. I am old. Like, not like horribly old. You know, like where I'm coughing up dust or something like that. But I am old. I am in my 40s. Now, I don't know how old the oldest, you know, YouTube gamer is, and I'm certainly not trying to break any records or anything like that, but that's how old I am. Um, and I do enjoy playing games and, and the whatnots. So... Back in my day, when you worked for a staffing firm, hold on, because I can't friggin' focus. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We need a couple more. Wow. So much lava. Walk, talk, chew bubble gum. Not happening. Okay. Um, right. So what was I saying again? Uh, back in my day, when you worked for a staffing firm, what you did was you accepted whatever assignments they gave you. And sometimes that meant you took some assignments that were pretty crappy. Um, but the thing was, is that since those girls get paid on putting you into a job that if, like, you didn't accept the job that they gave you, um, then the next go-round, they didn't work all that hard into finding you more work. Now, I'm not saying that that's a good thing or a bad thing and whether or not that should happen or not. That's just the way that was back in the day. Back in my day, to be more precise. Oh, look at that. That's funny. That is the exact... <laughs> alright, alright, cool, cool. So, when I got this offer for a position, um, I took it. Uh, there were a couple of things that I didn't pay any attention to, which I should have paid attention to, and I have to admit that that's my fault. Like, one of the things was that they... Ooh, you know what? I don't want to do that, just in case. Because you never know. But we are now 10 blocks away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, we are. So they, they offered me a job working in a mailroom. Now, I am not, um, what's the word, like prissy, like work prissy. I, I don't know what to, how to describe it. Ooh, I don't like that. How many blocks have we gone so far? Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt myself, but it's, it's uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, and I don't believe we're going to get 50 out of this one. This is a lot of lava to contend with. All right, so we're going to move on. That's what we're going to do. Like, screw it, this is 40. Unfortunately, we didn't unearth any diamonds on that run, and that sucks. We did wind up getting some Lapis Luzel and some Redstone, and we got some more coal. Uh, that's not too bad. 
but not exactly the rich stuff I was hoping for. We didn't even pick up an emerald off of that run. You know, what we could do is we could also start going uh, in the opposite direction. Like, we could start doing this way. And I think that that's probably what I'm going to wind up doing here in a little bit. Because we're just about out of time for this episode. But anyway, so, yeah. So here's what I wind up doing. Let's go upstairs. As a matter of fact, we can harvest that wheat that's probably grown up. So I get the, the offer for the mail room, and uh, it's 25 miles from my house, which is a 50-mile round trip, which is like, uh, from where I'm at in San Antonio, um, I could drive to Austin every two days and, and, and have less mileage than going back and forth uh, to this place. So... Um, not real happy about that, right? So that was one thing. Another thing was uh, when I got there, I mean, they were only offering like 10, 30 something for the job. Um, I'm, again, if I have the opportunity to advance, it's not like I'm being like, like super prissy about this. Like I don't have a problem with the pay. And if it was just the pay that I was dealing with, I'd have been okay. If it was just the mileage I was dealing with, I probably would have been okay. Um, on top of that, the supervisor of the mailroom was telling me that the mailroom was probably going to go away. So that was another issue. And then he also said that they very rarely promote out of the mailroom. Uh, he said that it happened one time. It was this kid that was going to college for computers and stuff. And and uh, he said that's the reason why the kid got uh, promoted out. So that's another, like, reason for not working there. So, again, even if, like, the pay was a little bit better and uh, it was a little bit closer to the house... Uh, even even if I wasn't going to get promoted out of the mailroom, I could probably contend with that because it you know it gives me a steady regular income until I can figure out what else to do, right? Um, this is the logic that I'm thinking of anyway. How uh, so? I'm thinking that this isn't going to be necessarily a concern that I need to worry about. I know I got to put this stuff away better. Do I have any iron down here? I do. Sorry, that train of thought again, boys. Uh, give me just a minute. I have any iron up in her? I do not have any iron up in her. So we'll just put that stuff up in her. That's got to come down. I'm duplicating all of my items. I know I am. Not like cheaty duplicating, but like I'm I'm putting them in more than one location. <clears throat> so, anyhow... I decided to go ahead and take that assignment. But then when I get there and I learn all of these things, I decide that this, this, there's, there's not a lot leaving as far as like an enticement for me to actually work. There's not an incentive for me to, to work here. Um, oh, I also, I finished the slime box launcher. Uh, although I don't often hit it in the right direction. <laughs> See if that'll work. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it was far more easier just to have the button there. So, because of all of these things, I took the position. Um, or rather, 
once I took the position, I decided I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I didn't want to take that position. And the very first day, the supervisor was telling me, "Do you want to transfer in? Do you want to transfer in? Do you want to transfer? I'll give you a job right now." And I really was grateful. But the fact remained that I didn't. It was way too much. I'm I'm dealing with the fact that I'm never going to get promoted out of the mailroom, according to the supervisor. He said it was a rarity. Um, dealing with the fact that the mailroom was potentially going away in the next two to four months. Um, it was either going to be outsourced or it was going to be gotten rid of altogether because the post office is actually going to be doing the work for them. Um, the pay was like $10 an hour, and I would be making a 50-mile round trip every day uh, in the worst traffic conditions that San Antonio has to offer. Well, the morning part really wasn't that bad. More of the evening um, would have been the worst. So I decided that I, that was something that I didn't want to do. And I'm waiting for the temporary agency to give me word back on something else. So I've, got, I've got other applications and resumes uh, that have gone out with other people. And I still haven't found anything of use as of yet. And I'm considering all of my options. So we'll see how it goes. But because of the fact that I want to do like full-time employment in the daytime and I'm still going to do doing driving at night leaves me with not a lot of time to do a whole lot of editing. Now, as it is, I do, uh, I do my level best to record a lot of episodes like pre-record. Uh, or if you call pre-record, I don't know, it's pre-record. I try really hard to do all of my recording stuff, um, uh, pre-edit recording stuff. Well, I try to do a lot of it, is the only way to explain that. And um, then I go back and edit, and then I release uh, a video or two every day or every other day. Um, I'm doing one right now, as a matter of fact, and uh, I've still got another Minecraft video ahead of this one. So, you know, I'm keeping a, a stock of information available. So, anyway, I, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update, and I know that my my speech has not been exactly freeform and whatnot, and this video is going to go over just a little bit longer. I did want to say thank you very much for hanging out with us today. And aside from this and last episode, I do apologize for these two. Uh, if you do like what we're doing with the other videos that we're doing, definitely give us a, a little love on the like button. Subscribe so you know when the new videos are coming out. And I will try to get them out on a regular basis, which that one's turning out to be a challenge in and of itself uh, because of the, um, uh, you know, the employment situation. Uh, Tell your friends about us. Share and favorite the videos because that's what it's all about anyhow. And we will catch you next time. And I want to say have a great day because I'm going to have a great day. And I sincerely hope that you do too. This has been Cable Dog. I'm Cable Dog's Plays. Peace out, peeps. <laughs>